beautiful soul. <laughs> this morning, you guys, I went out to take care of my chickens. And when I tell you, spirit is coming through. Guys, I crossed paths with this beautiful monarch butterfly, but it was flittering in the grass, right? What stood out to me, of course, was its coloring, but when I took a closer look, I noticed that the wings were ripped, and as they were ripped, they were the butterfly was kind of slowly opening and closing them, opening and closing them. Now, monarch butterflies are known not only for being symbolic of powerful transformation, clearly all butterflies are, I feel like we all know this, but they're also known for their incredible journeys. So these butterflies, they migrate great distances, not only for their own survival, but to move from cold environments into warmer climates and also to mate and to meet with other beautiful monarch butterflies. They represent our inner strength, our resilience, and being led to travel great distances in our own lives. What I also find so beautiful is that they also carry the spirits of our ancestors who show up not only when they need them most, but when we are ending and beginning a great cycle in our lives. What I loved about this butterfly in particular was that it was clearly imperfect. Its wings were clearly beaten down, ripped, and... It was doing the best that it can and maybe it was at the end of its own life cycle but the fact that it came to my yard the fact that it was placed at my feet and the fact that i was able to be a part of its journey felt like a blessing and this blessing is something that i want to share with you guys we don't have to be perfect in order to make powerful choices for our lives we don't have to be perfect in order to be blessed by the presence of our ancestors we don't have to be perfect in order to be loved as we are, okay? So I pulled some cards, of course, for our Bahati love note because that's why we're all here and that's what it is I love to do. The cards that I pulled are the Two of Wands, the Death card, of course, the Three of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Six of Cups, and then I asked Spirit, what is the blessing coming from this death and this rebirth that you are obviously showing us right now? And I saw the Queen of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, the Justice card, and the Page of Cups. This is the message that Spirit has led me to share with you today. It's amazing that the monarch butterfly showed up this morning and then the guides chose the death and, re card, uh, death and rebirth card to speak to us today. Clearly, a few long chapters in your life are now ending. What I know is that this has been a long, long journey for you with many winding roads and unexpected twists and turns. Spirit is actually filling me with the feeling of and the words of necessary growth. As exhausting and frustrating as this process has been for you, it is true that it has served a great purpose and lesson in your life. That lesson is now coming to a completion. Now, I feel that I'm drawn to the Two of Wands. This is the guide's way of allowing you a moment to not only catch your breath, but to observe and become clear on what you want to happen next. I feel that this journey has taught you so much that if you see similar signs and traits of what you have already lived and experienced, you will now recognize it immediately and choose to do different. Spirit says, be proud of yourself for this eye-opening awareness you have now, but also remember that it can be very emotional to have to make wiser choices now that you know better. It is a complex layering of feelings that you may experience when you know to do the right thing for yourself and also for others, but you have the strength and the resilience to do that now. The guides want you to know that if you just made a massive choice to end something in your life or to begin a new cycle, you will not be called to make another one that feels as painful or difficult for some time. This truly feels like a promise. You will be given rest now and a chance to build excitement and energy before your next step forward. However, 
if you are delaying making a big change or you have been resisting doing what you know you need to do, the time to make this big emotional move is looming. The anxiety of putting off, putting this off further and further is worse than the decision itself. Trust me. (laughs) Spirit is here with a message that is empowering and acts as a blessing. You were not meant to stay in the same places, situations, and feelings forever. Like all living things here on earth, you are meant to grow, to evolve. This is a blessing and not a curse. Trust the transformation that you are being led into or out of now. There is plenty of opportunities around you that we will place at your feet for the sole purpose of nourishing you right now. Look for them and you will clearly see them. This is our way of watching out for you, filling your cup up and guiding you forward. I love that message for us. Be blessed.